views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. Each week, you'll learn how to navigate the global shift of consciousness and explore the deeper knowledge within. Welcome home. Now here's your host, Dr. Kelly Neff. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Kelly Neff, and you are listening to Lucid Planet Radio on Transformation Talk Radio, CRN Digital Talk, and WBLQ 1230 AM Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York. Woo! Stay with us for the next hour and let us help you experience healing, inspiration, and knowledge. Because every week on Lucid Planet Radio, we've got some of the most gifted scientists, doctors, healers, and speakers helping you to become the greatest version of yourself. You can find out more on my website, thelucidplanet.com, and stream all of our podcasts for free via lucidplanetradio.com, as well as by searching for Lucid Planet Radio in iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Spreaker, SoundCloud, and more. You can also connect with me, Dr. Kelly, on Facebook and Twitter um, by searching for The Lucid Planet with Dr. Kelly. And now I'm even on Instagram. You can follow the daily happenings of my weird and wonderful life, uh, Instagram, The Lucid Planet. Uh, also so excited that we are streaming now on Seer and Digital Talk Radio, bringing us to millions and millions of homes in the U.S. and over 100 countries. Um, if you are interested in becoming on the show or joining as an advertising partner, you can go to the website, thelucidplanet.com, and find out everything you need to know including how to listen in your area and wow i am so excited you guys it is summer in fact it is the middle of the summer and if you're like me you've been out there getting it and just crushing your summer you know outdoor activities outside times barbecues late nights frozen treats swimming summer break all the fun things um i love summer it's my favorite. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> um, but especially here in the Colorado Rockies, you know, and really all over the country and the world, just because we're busy having fun doesn't mean we should neglect our health. And in fact, summer can bring up a number of very important health concerns that we really need to address. Uh, so today I have a little summer treat for you. We're going to be talking about natural summer health hacks so that you can have the best rest of your summer ever. And these include Perhaps most importantly on my list is just detoxing from sugar, something that I've always been trying to do, but I fall off the sugar wagon all the time, and I'm really hoping that my guest today can help me. Um, we're also going to be talking about how to deal with other concerns like candida, humidity, dehydration, inflammation, bloating, weight gain, bugs, and more, really anything you can think about. Um, so to address these wonderful summertime health hacks, I am really excited to welcome the wonderful Dr. Ronnie DeLuz to the show. And if you guys, you've probably heard Dr. Ronnie, um, but if you haven't already heard of her, she is a naturopathic doctor. She has a PhD in natural health. She is a registered nurse, a certified colon therapist, and certified hypnotherapist for over 25 years. And she is one of the leading detoxification and environmental illness doctors in our country. And she travels around giving seminars on these topics. She is the founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat and Wellness Spa, where she treats chronically ill persons. And she does this by combining integral wellness and traditional naturopathy principles. And she is also New York Times bestselling author. Um, you might have heard of her book, The Martha's Vineyard Detox Diet. 21 pounds in 21 days. And she has been on such a host of national TV and radio shows, really more than I can even count from Larry King Live, The View, Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, The New York Post, uh, Woman's World, and so much more. And so um, if you guys have any questions today for me or Dr. Ronnie, just remember you can call in live for the next hour 
1-800-930-2819 to speak to us about your summer health time questions. That's 1-800-930-2819. So on that note, let's please welcome Dr. Ronnie Deleuze to the show. Hi, Dr. Ronnie. Hi, thank you. Thank you. You know what? My most favorite subject, and I do a lot. I mean, I do 21 do. chronic illnesses. But my most favorite subject is detoxification. And I include detoxing within my regime for most chronic illnesses because I want to just say a little bit about what the science of detox is. You know, there's different types of detoxes and there's um, many ways that people explain a detox. But the way I want to explain today, because I know your audience is interested in the summer and what types of things they can do to help them with the summer. So Mm -hmm. today we're going to talk about diet detoxing. So detox diets are dietary plans that actually have the body to eliminate food contaminants, foods that contain ingredients and chemicals that are not good for our body. And based on that, we end up gaining weight, not feeling good, not sleeping good. We're a mess, especially in the summertime. We're just a real mess because we Mm -hmm. forget what to do to make our bodies feel good in the summer. And I'll give you an example. One of my clients the other day, she said, I just don't understand that, you know, every summer my feet swell. And if you look at my face underneath my eyes, I swell and I go, well, maybe every single summer you're either dehydrated, you're not drinking enough, or you're just eating too much salt. And she mm. goes, well, yeah, because I crave salt, so I eat salt. And I says, well, you crave salt because you eat salt. <laughs> she looked at me. <laughs> so, you, it's the same thing with sugar. Come on. If you eat sugar, you're going to crave sugar. You know, the body mm-hmm. is always going to want what you give it. You know, my body craves green juices because I give my body green juice first thing in the morning. So I know mm. when I don't have it, my energy level is not up. So I think I if you juice. if you really if you believe that your body the body believes that it's in danger when you don't give it the right nutrients. And when you don't give it the right nutrients, um, you end up gaining more weight because the body thinks that it's starving. And basically, Mm. that's exactly what you're doing. You're starving the body. So those cravings actually come from not giving your body the right nutrients. So our diet detox is based on some principles. And one of the major principles is maximum nutrition and a small dosage. So if you provide your body with enough nutrients and maximum nutrition, and what I mean by that is like, let's say one glass of juice, one glass of green juice ends up being almost like a two huge to three huge plates of vegetables. Well, you can't sit down and eat that much vegetables, but you can certainly drink it and get the amount of nutrients in it. So if we do that all day long, By starting out with um, uh, antioxidant juice and then later, a couple hours later, you give yourself a green juice and then later on you give yourself another vegetable juice of a different type, you're actually giving your body a lot of nutrients and the body will easily let the weight go because it doesn't feel that it's in danger of nutrients. And those are just some of the juices sure. that we do during the day. Um, one of the questions, Dr. Ronnie, one of the questions I have, and I know a lot of people have about juicing, is is it okay to juice if you're not getting the fiber? Does it have too much sugar in the juice? Absolutely. You always got to be careful of that. And that's why we don't – see, juicing is – is different when you when you say detoxification that's totally different from juicing because when mm-hmm. we do our detox program we actually include a, what's called whole foods within our juices for an example oh, gotcha. if we have a protein drink that have a, a good essential fatty acids we actually have a drink that have 43 essential nutrients in our drink mm-hmm. i mean today that's huge because i'm what i'm saying is is that I can fix you a juice that have 43 essential nutrients in it. So that's what I mean by maximum nutrition in a small dosage. Sure. So it's not like carrot, lemon, you know, like what is it? Carrot, apple, ginger, and it tastes really good. But it's like oh, no, full, no. it has nutrients, but it's probably full of sugar. It's full of sugar. Right. You got to really be really careful. Someone said to me earlier, you know, when I go home, she says, can I go to Whole Foods and get a juice? I says, exactly. But you got to be careful what's in that juice. Mm-hmm. If it's green, it's probably okay. If it's orange, it has too much sugar. If it's red, it has too much sugar. And be careful of the juices that basically
basically say um, it has uh, honey. Some people put honey in their juice. And, and we're mm-hmm. not saying anything's bad, but we're saying it's sh- sugar. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just sugar. Yeah. Sugar today, we're overloaded yes. with sugar, and it absolutely, our pancreas is having a tough time with sugar today. Oh, my goodness. Well, I can't wait to talk. We've got a couple of minutes to the break, and then we're going to talk all about kind of the problem of sugar. Um, Before we get there, I guess in the few minutes we have, uh, Dr. Ronnie, who should do a diet detox? Everyone, see, a diet detox is someone who feels sluggish, who have a liver issue, who have bloating. They have, you, you, you know the people, there's a questionnaire mm-hmm. that we give people, people who basically says I'm bloated all the time, I have a headache, and you can clearly look at them and see their skin's bad, their energy's mm-hmm. bad, they don't sleep very well. So when you think of a detox, think of nutrition in a glass. Mm. Because basically anyone can do that. I have a 16-year-old here right now who's clearly Mm. 60 to 70 pounds overweight, who's already lost 8 pounds in a few days. Why would a child have that much weight on them? So what we're saying is is that a lot of people are eating non-edible foods. We'll talk Mm. about that more. Non-edible foods, the body doesn't know what to do with it, so it stores it as fat. And so Mm. when you think of a, a detox... Think of something that you're going to actually rid your body of. You're no longer going to do the chemicals, the preservatives, and the salts and the sugars. You're actually going to replace your diet with real nutrients, 43 nutrients in a glass throughout the day. Does that make sense? It makes sense because a lot of people don't realize that they, they just ate salad. And if you really can take a salad and you really do the uh, nutritional analysis of that salad, I'm going to tell you right now, it's no hardly any nutrients in salads today. Mm. You know, it's funny you say that because I do eat a lot of salad and I feel like I'm being healthy, but I am totally unsatisfied and I'm hungry. <laughs> Jimmy, you know, my, my partner, Jimmy calls it rabbit food because it just like <laughs> poofs and it, vap- it kind of vaporizes in your system. Um, and on, on that note, um, <laughs> you're here on Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly and uh, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Dr. Ronnie and I are going to talk more about all of these things, detox diet, sugar, summer health, what you need to know to have the best summer ever. So stick with us and we will be right back. If you change your mind, take a chance on the first thing in line, honey, I'm still free, take a chance on me, if you need chance, me. Chance, chance, what if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. 
The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. 1230 WBLQ. The message is perfectly simple. The meaning is clear. Don't ever stray too. We are back on Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly and my guest today is Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, who is talking with us about natural summer health hacks, including detox diets. And remember, if you have questions, you can call in live at 1-800-930-2819. And um, before we continue, Dr. Ronnie, I just want to make sure that everybody listening knows how to contact you and to find out more about your upcoming books that you're working on, the Martha's Vineyard Retreat Center. I mean, what you're doing there sounds amazing. Well, okay, contact me, and if you have any questions at all after the show, I'd be more than happy. I'm called the text queen now. I text <laughs> all day, literally up until 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm texting people because, you know, we're doing this mm-hmm. new private door, and the private door detox is that you can now detox at home with our help. Uh, we've mm-hmm. developed an, a new app where that can happen, and we got people all over the country doing this at home now, which is absolutely wonderful, so I'm te- I'm texting people even when I'm with clients. So I think if That's you great. just text me um, at 774-208-2477, or if you want to email me, you can do Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, D-E-L-Z, my last name, at gmail.com. And my new book that's coming out, I'm doing a new book. I can't give the name right now because everyone's fighting over it, but it's about a lifestyle for how do you keep yourself healthy and happy forever. And then I'm doing a Lyme book, a Lyme disease book, because, you know, I live on Martha's Vineyard where Lyme disease is a hotbed. So, you know, of course, every niche that comes out that have to do with your health, I'm it. (laughs) So Yes, for sure. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. You must be so slammed. And, you know, I really I would love to have you on in the future to do a whole Lyme disease show, because this is definitely very close to home. My partner, James, who's Jimmy Ohm, he's been on the show numerous times. He's definitely a fan favorite. He's been battling Lyme disease for several months, and they think he's had it for several years. And this is a really, really important topic. I mean, the the CDC is estimating there's upwards of like a million people who have Lyme disease now in America, and it's totally misdiagnosed. Well, you know, um, so, yeah, I'd love to bring you on. And, and and while we're on the subject, I mean, that's definitely a summertime issue, too, because we go outside yes. and we want to enjoy nature. And it's usually the most active people who end up getting Lyme disease because they're the ones spending time outside. I know. And, I know. Uh, Mm-hmm. What a bummer. Do you have, just very quickly, do you have advice for, is there a type of bug spray or what does someone do if they well, find you, you it got, sick? You, you, you really have to get into what's called natural essential oils. I use this one called Tri Remedy oh, yeah. and I mix the Tri Remedy with the coconut um, oil and I put it over over all my skin. But I'm, I'm not, you know, a, a lover of going in the woods anymore, but my, my kids mm-hmm. do. And I always make sure that, of course, that they put these oils on and they roll their socks up over their pants and wear sneakers mm. instead of flip-flops and when they come back in the house of course you have to like survey the body and that's really mm-hmm. really important because these ticks can lodge into the skin and you don't won't necessarily see them but you can feel them and mm-hmm. you, of course you have to take it out with a tweezer and be very careful about that and then end up taking it to the lab or the emergency room and then they look at the tick and see if it's a Lyme uh, tick and of course you got to go on antibiotics, antibiotics. Today, but um, and if you do it right quickly, away. you can pretty much be safe. Um, but if you have chronic Lyme, that's a whole nother story. People with oh, chronic yeah. Lyme that's had it for years, it's really all over their body and their, their immune system suffers. Mm-hmm. Actually, more than someone who has HIV, the immune system is even worse than that. It is the yeah. worst. I mean, and it can yeah. affect all the systems in your body. Anyway, I know that, Dr. Ronnie, again, we're going to talk more about this in a separate show in the future. But you did have a call for people, right, to uh, send you their stories about Lyme. 
Yeah, I would love for someone because I am doing a book and um, um, you'll get a free book and also a free consultation if I can get a story about Lyme. Um, I'm doing a lot of research on the island. Uh, we've partnered up with some um, Harvard um, medical doctors and um, basically, you know, we're we're in a we're in a war with Lyme. Yeah. I mean, you yes. know, the political system is um, yes. a, a difficult time with that. So but it takes a you long know, time to catch up. It, it really does. And I think for the most part, um, my program for any chronic illness, um, Lyme being just one of them, um, is sort of a trilogy effect. And basically, you always start with what you put in your body. Food is always your foundation, no matter what chronic illness you have. And we customize someone's food depending on the chronic illness that they have. But I surely always say one thing, and a lot of people have really done well by 43 essential nutrients. And that's this new food that's out now um, by Yevo, mm -hmm. where you can actually by uh, protein smoothies, oatmeal, hot mm. rice, or in vegetable uh, powdered soup, and some some um, oh, wow. uh, powders, uh, which is a um, a powder based curry based powder that has you know or different types of um, I think they even got another type of powder. But the point is, is that these they have food now that have 43 essential nutrients in it, and so with that, and then with green juices and our favorite antioxidants. We can almost beat any nutritional deficiency that's out there. So you can't possibly get well if you don't have a good foundation with food. Mm -hmm. And of course, we include green juices in that as well. Yes, along with absolutely. These good essential fatty acids. Yes. Well, you know, I always say your your food becomes your future body. Think about exactly. that. Exactly. Right. And so, you know, I tell people all the time, like, of course, in the summertime, you know, I'll see people and I, I, I can't believe I still see this, but I see people. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I just wanted to say something to this woman. So she was drinking this soda. She had a Coke and she was drinking it and she just like gave it to her. Like, I think this little girl must have been two years old and she was begging for oh, it. No. And she just gave the, her the Coke. And I'm just looking like, do you, you have no idea what you're doing, but I had to like zip it because, you know, I, I can be pretty worried. Well, this is a question, kind of you know, when I see that, I wonder, do they know, do people, are people truly ignorant or are they just addicted to the amount of sugar in that Coke? I think both. I think a lot of people are addicted to sugar. Sugar is really a toxin. Sugar is a drug. And I think people uh, who are addicted to sugar don't really understand that they are and they give it to their kids. You know, all they know is that it makes them feel good. So they don't really think about the fact that they may be addicted to it. But and I and, you know, and the more I do this and with my next book, I realize that I have to write it differently. I love the first book and the fact that it was a New York Times bestseller is only because of the way it was written. I was speaking to people. And I have yeah. that, that gift where I can just speak to people in my books. But I like oh, to speak do. to the parents. I like to speak to the parents because I want them to understand that with their children, they're creating – a horrific chronic illness and at a very young age if they continue to do what they're doing. So to answer your question, I don't think they know because mm. you, you can't possibly do this if you know. You love your children. Mm -hmm. And I think that mm -hmm. we still have a lot of education that we have to do with people around what they're putting in their bodies. It's and that's true. why I always tell them that maximum nutrition, if you just continuously think about that, just look at what you're giving your body and say, does this have nutrition in it? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean... Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, I always say my boyfriend and I in the age of information, ignorance is a choice because you can find everything you need on the Internet, not to mention some of the amazing documentaries out there. Um, but, you know, it's just it's it's a human. I'm a psychologist. So for me, it's like a human behavior issue, yeah. which is we are just used to our routine and it's normalized. And not only that, I mean, we've got several generations of media marketing and advertising and conditioning kind of bearing down on us, telling us that there's certain foods we sh should and can consume that are good for us and they they're linked to our emotional well-being yes and mm -hmm. this is like for me the problem with sugar and i i notice you know because i've detoxed from sugar so many times and then it creeps back in when i want that little bit of comfort or that little bit of sugar buzz because it really does make you feel amazing before it crashes you down and throws you on the rocks you know <laughs> but but like at first it feels so good and then you want to keep <gasps> eating it you know you just keep i don't need any other food i'm just gonna eat sugar and i've literally had times when i was in college where i was like i'm just going to eat dessert all day and that's going to be my diet and what's weird is i would i'd lose weight i would lose weight but i would be sick you know and that would last yeah. like three days 
Yeah. And then I'd be like disgusted and not touch it for three months. It's like I'm all over the place with it. So I love, you know, the idea of 21 days to detox and like actually be, you know, why does it need to be 21 days? Is that, is it a biochemical thing? Is it a psychological thing? Well, it's both because you have to remember it takes 21 days to change your body. You know, your body, we, we have memory cells in our body and uh, the 21 days, the first three days, you're going to feel differently. Like the, uh, mm. for an example, the detoxers will lose a few pounds. They'll feel lighter. They'll feel, they'll feel a little happier and they know that something's going on. They're less bloated. And then around the, the the end of the first week or the seventh days, they're losing five pounds. They feel a little bit tired, but the fluids are being flushed out. They may get a little headache, but they say, wow, you know what? I'm Look at my body. I've lost some inches now. And then around the tenth day, they're losing even more weight, but now they're feeling better again. They're even looking better because their skin's tightening up in the mirror. They like the way they look. And spiritually, you know, there's also a mm. part of this whole thing. Spiritually, you really feel um, more relieved, healthier, and happier because, see, food can be a toxic substance that actually create anger. Acid foods create acid people. Mm. Acid people are angry people. They're irritable. They don't really know why um, that, that why after they eat certain foods, they just want to go to bed and they don't like anybody and they just want to just say shut mm. up and just close the door and leave me alone well that's you have to take a look at what they just ate why they feel the way they feel so when you go on food that's enriched with nutrients and it's not acid but it's alkaline you start feeling happier and all of a sudden you start doing things that you haven't done in a long time I used to always say um, it makes me sing in the shower and I can't sing but you know I just feel lighter and happier and I just mm -hmm. tell people I put sign on my bathroom door leave me alone I'm so happy but I yeah. think that you know I think that people have to understand that you are what you eat if you eat acid food you're going to re react in a very acid way and that's not very happy Mm. And, you know, I definitely notice uh, you feel that bloating and that kind of the, that gross feeling inside more during the summer when it's hot and it's sticky. I know, I, you know, I recently uh, moved to the Rockies a couple of years ago and in the winter, I don't mind, you know, eating all the things and laying there. It's dark and it's cold and you don't really notice it. But when summer comes around and you're eating fattening food, you feel it immediately like you're kind of carrying this. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Um, and so, yeah, I think this is really like important and I, I i can't wait to talk to you because i want to get on this detox right now like as soon as i get back from my trip to vegas this weekend <laughs> i want to get i want to get on this detox um so on that note um i'm dr kelly this is lucid planet radio when we come back dr ronnie deleuze and i are going to talk more about summer health sugar detox candida inflammation humidity bloating how to beat it stick with us we'll see you in a few Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now through March for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. 
For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving, even in the face of adversity. Say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. We are back on Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly, and I am here with Dr. Ronnie DeLuz talking about all the things for natural summer health. Uh, don't forget, if you have questions for us, you've still got a little bit more time to call in, 1-800-930-2819. Um, Dr. Ronnie, uh, we left off talking about you know the importance of detoxing and food as our medicine, and I would love it if you would share with our listeners some of the best ingredients and combinations to make green juices and smoothies to maximize nutrition, hydration, and also detox and flushing. Oh, wow. I love to do that. I, You know, mm-hmm. I had created this book over like a hundred different recipes for juices. I mean, it is nonstop. But, okay, let's just talk about the summer. In the summertime, what happens is, believe it or not, so many people are dehydrated. And although I don't believe that you should use uh, salt on your food because it's sort of a caustic, alkalized, an inorganic type of a poison, I, I say. But if you have natural celery from mm-hmm. uh, your your vegetables and some um, kelp and spinach and um, especially cucumbers and a little bit of carrots, not too much. It gives it just a little bit of sweetness, but a lot of powerful antioxidants, and it helps you actually to relieve fluid from the body and people mm. always say that is one of their major problems that they have when they go on on vacation in the summertime is they swell up um yes. so I, i'm gonna my favorite uh juice and this is a really good juice for um a lot of people don't like the the bitterness but i love it okay this is a really good juice for uh people who are inflamed and some of you have arthritis and you don't know you have arthritis um but if you like bend your fingers and you feel soreness, you, you're, you've you got the beginning signs of arthritis. Um, if your elbows ache or your knees when you walk up the flight of stairs, you've got the beginning signs of arthritis. So here's a great juice for arthritis, inflammation, uh, bloat. You take like cucumbers, um, some kale, uh, mm. parsnip, uh, I would say turnip greens, and a little bit of carrots, and I love green beans. And Green you know, beans, green no beans, kidding. I, mean, I love green beans. I grew up on green beans, and it's the best tasting juice. Um, but be careful. It has to be green. If it's orange, then you got too much carrots. Okay, so mm-hmm. that's a really good juice. So just to clarify, sorry, Dr. Ronnie, do you blend this or do you juice it? What you do is you're going to have like a handful of everything that I just told you or two hands full and you're going to put it through a juicer. Now, when you put this through a juicer, you're going to find that you have to have a lot of vegetables to get one glass of juice because you're leaving the fiber behind. And so that's what I'm saying when I'm saying maximum nutrition in a small dosage. All of the nutrients are going into that glass. You've got a glass full of vitamins and minerals. Well, the fiber is left behind. I mean, some people can do other things, 
give it to your garden or something. But um, oh, what I want you to dog have treats called, out of it. It's great. There Sorry. you go. Yeah. So so I you're drinking a glass of good vitamins, but mostly minerals. And that's the whole point in juicing, maximum nutrition. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, their fluid retention is because they're drinking too much. But sometimes fluid, most of the time, fluid retentions or swelled ankles and puffinies around your eyes is because you're not drinking enough and you're not drinking enough fluid with minerals in it. So fill that glass up with bean sprouts, cucumbers, spinach, and um, all. And a lot of people, you could put like a little piece of ginger in it or a tiny mm. little piece of garlic in it. If you really I love do. that. Yeah, I love, I love that. that too. Uh, and someone yeah. asked me, is there a special juice? Um, in the last two years, she said, I'm losing my hair. And mm. is there a special juice for that? And I go, yeah, alfalfa sprouts are really good uh, to help you grow your hair and watercress and mm. uh, cabbage and cucumber again. And um, believe it or not, if you just take a little bit ounce of wheatgrass but don't put wheatgrass in your juice just go to a health food store or a juice bar and get wheatgrass take an ounce of it or to Mm -hmm. buy some powder and mix it and just have that all by itself that really grows your hair as well um so how about for gray hair does it work yeah, for that too? For gray hair, you're gonna need. I'm sorry, you're gonna need some B vitamins. <laughs> you could do some Yavo food with that. Uh, with my 43 essential nutrients in the yes. food, because what we're talking about there is all 43 nutrients. You're gonna really. And it's been said though that um, gray hair um, slows down quite a bit when you make sure you have really good vitamins, and especially in the you B know, family. Yeah. <laughs> I've been going gray since I was like 18, and you know they say it was genetic or. I used to have severe anemia that could have done it, but now it's just, yeah, it is what it is. (laughs) But yeah, I'm always looking. When you say Yevo, how do you, how do you spell that for our listeners Um, out there? Yevo is Y-E-V-O. And if anybody want any more information about how to put 43 essential nutrients in your body, please text me at 774-208-2477 because I'm a text queen now. I just learned how to do multiple Ooh. texts. And then, or you could just email me at drronniedeleuz at gmail.com and I'll send you so much information on how to get 43 essential nutrients in your body in a smoothie, the best tasting smoothie that you ever want. Oh, and when you finish with that, that smoothie, you're not hungry all day. And the reason why you're not hungry all day is guess what? You just fed your body maximum nutrition in small dosages. And I say that a lot because it's really a miracle what happens to your body when you give it everything that it needs, especially if you could give it everything that it needs in a few drinks in a day. Mm -hmm. So that way, if you end up going out tonight and you just have a glass of wine or some bad food, sometimes it's not what you're eating that's so bad, Dr. Kelly. Sometimes Mm. it's what you're not eating that's really bad. Oh, I love that. Yes. But, you know, when you eat a lot of these rich, like, fatty fried foods, lots of barbecue. I think about ice cream. I think about all the summer things that I love that I associate with summer. But yeah, it I, I definitely makes me sick after to a certain extent. And like, I don't want to eat anything else. And the more acid you make your body, the less you crave, you know, alkaline foods. It's weird. It's like you said, when you eat acid, you crave acid. You crave that's, that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And if anybody has, I think you mentioned um, anemia, low blood. If you have low blood, then you must know that beets, beet greens, and Swiss Mm -hmm. chard are some of the important things that you have to include in your in your greens because that helps. And of course, watercress; those things help you build your blood up. So much iron, yeah. Let food be your medicine, and then that way, when you mess up during this summer, at least you know you're giving your body the essential nutrients that it needs, and that gives you some room to do what you need to do. I, I, you know, I agree. And I appreciate you saying that, that it's so much about balance. One of the things that I've struggled with in in kind of detoxing and cleaning up my act and, for example, going gluten free, sometimes I want to cheat. I want to eat something that tastes really good because why? Sometimes like the word, like for me, there's nothing better than like some really good Italian food (laughs) and there's just not going to be gluten free. That's going to taste like the same. It's not going to have that. So sometimes I do want to eat that, but it's about not doing it all the time. And if you are going to do it, don't overdo and know that you're going to get back on your regime. I think it's really important. Otherwise it can be very hard for people to quit completely. That's right. 
Right. Yeah. And I just told people, uh, be really, really good 75% of the time. And then 25%, mm-hmm. you know, it's not so bad. Um, mm-hmm. and, and people can live with that. You know, if you have like seven days in the week and if you just do five days and be really, really good. But this is important. I want to mention this. Mm-hmm. If someone's a sugar addict, and I remember one time she said to me, well, you know, Dr. Ronnie, I just do a little bit of sugar every day. And I go, no. Mm-mm. I'd rather for you to go crazy with sugar one or two days a week and not do it every single day because every single day you're still sending your pancreas into this sugar surge and your pancreas can't handle it. The amount of insulin that your pancreas produce is not getting your your sugar levels into your cells and some of it is spilling into your blood. I said, so that mm. means every single day you're doing your, bad, your body bad. But if you mm. can do your body good five days a week and only two days bad, that's a great start, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we we have to be mindful that, you know, our body is this very amazingly well-tuned, well-oiled machine. And it's a miracle really to be alive when you think about all of our different organs and how they all have to interplay with each other and with our, you know, skeletal muscular system, the brain. This is a really, it's, it's an amazing thing, but we, we have to treat our bodies like that and give them the respect that they need so that we can actually function properly. Uh, That's you know, true. There's, it's 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 really important and so I appreciate you saying that sugar is the kind of thing that it is almost like a drug addiction where you have to quit cold turkey. You know, you can't do, say, a little bit of cocaine every day. <laughs> you know, you, ha- you got to just stop <laughs> sugar. And, like, that's, it, if you can make it through the first three days of that sugar detox, yes. usually you're going to feel better. And when you, uh, Dr. Ronnie, I know we have to go to break soon, but when you give people a sugar detox, do you do, like, like are they allowed fruit or honey or anything? No. Or is it- no, nothing. No, no sugar. Vegetables. Because no natural sugar. You, one of the things that I tell people is stevia is will save you. Stevia Ooh, will totally good. save you. I have made some of the most delicious desserts with stevia and also Ooh. with the with the Yevo foods which have so much nutrients in it it's made such that you still have that sweet taste and it's full we make uh, Yevo cookies and um, mm. it's very very sweet with no sugar and you, it's amazing how stevia can make a cookie that have no sugar in it so I, I just need people to understand that you know sugar is a silent killer and mm. um it's also a toxin, and diseases are expressions of these toxicities in our body. And so if you continue to do it over and over and over again, the weakest part in your body, genetically-wise, is going to break down. And so I mm. tell people all the time that you have to stop it with the sugar. And detoxing, and detoxing means helping your body cleanse at the cellular level. And the so only important. way that you're going to be happy with that is... Is start by giving your body the nutrients so that you don't have the cravings. Yep. And on that note, uh, Dr. Ronnie, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back on Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly, we're going to talk a little bit more about ending the sugar cravings and also how to deal with summer weather, depending on where you live in the country. So stick with us. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to strengthen relationships with others? Do you want to improve your financial status? Colette Marie Steffen is partnering with Mark Kettenbach to bring you an energetic upgrade online experience. Unfold and develop your full potential. Visit energeticupgrade.com today for more information. That's energeticupgrade.com. Are you and your family looking for one manageable lifestyle change that will positively impact your health? Look no further. That change begins inside your drinking glass. Learn how to put a lid on junk drinking by sipping from a recipe collection of colorful, fresh, tasty, wholesome fruit and vegetable blends. Get your copy now of Sip the Garden. Fun, easy drinks for a healthier family by T. Carrie Mitchell. Visit lifestyle120.com for information on how to order. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Katherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. 
Tune in and let Catherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get into it for 2016. Do you want more prosperity, clarity, energy, and balance in your life? Join Lynn Brown now through March for one of her amazing workshops, each focusing on a key part of living your best life. For more information and to register for one of these amazing workshops, visit lynnbrownevent.com. That's lynnbrownevent.com. And get into it this 2016 with Lynn Brown. Introducing the Lucid Planet, a digital gathering place featuring cutting-edge, high-vibrational content that will empower and inspire you to become the greatest version of yourself. Visit the Lucid Planet today to stimulate your mind, body, and soul as you connect with a global community of like-minded people. The Lucid Planet is edited by renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff, who is here to help you cope with anxiety, connect to your higher purpose, uncover your true passions, and live your dreams. Dr. Kelly's fresh, compassionate perspective emphasizes growth, transformation, healing, and thriving. Even in the face of adversity, say goodbye to bad news and low vibrational media for good and become part of the larger collective of people working together to navigate the global shift of consciousness and transform the world from within. Join the planet, the Lucid Planet. Visit thelucidplanet.com. Welcome home. 1230 WPLQ. Welcome back to Lucid Planet Radio, Dr. Kelly. I know uh, we're Dr. Ronnie and I were just giving shout outs to Brian, our producer, for throwing down all the tunes we love, right? Oh, thank <laughs> so you. So good. Thank you, Kel. <laughs> and Ronnie. Oh. It's great to have you, Brian, and also Dr. Ronnie, who's been here sharing, definitely dropping some knowledge about um, summertime health and summertime health hacks. And I want to talk about different regions of the country and like the kind of health concerns there. But before I do, I just want to say very briefly, um, we left off talking about how sugar really will kill you and it will weaken your body. And the anything you have a genetic disposition to, all of that sugar in your body will accelerate that process of illness. Um, and I just want to give, I want to share my inspirational message, which is that you can do it. Our brain is wired to be addicted to sugar and even to cheese. I mean, all these foods, you know, it's really, really hard to give them up, but but it's, it's, it's in our brain. It's a biochemical thing. We can overcome it, but we just need to empower ourselves. And that's why it's so important important um, for me to have people like Dr. Ronnie around who can inspire us. And I just want to thank you for that, Dr. Ronnie. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. It's the favorite thing in the world to, is to educate people and especially around detoxification because I, when I tell people that over a thousand uh, different chemicals, synthetic food additives are dumped into our food supply each and every year and that's just a conservative number. It's really mm-hmm. more than 2,000 but I keep that thousand because they can't even handle that mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. they are the cause of major disease and scientists know this but it's sort of a well-kept secret because you know in our country's support of so many corporate giants and and they make commercial food and artificial food but it's up to us as individuals and parents and grandparents to really teach our children better and also yes. to keep ourselves healthy so that we can be a great um, role model for our kids and grandkids and, and that's really what it's all about because it, the world won't change unless we change first Yes, we have to demand that change. And yes. that's really what the show is so dedicated to, like empowering ourselves that we can live the life we want and we can make changes. And that's my motto is transforming the world from within, because yes. that's what we're doing. You make those changes in yourself and you'd be amazed the way that can ripple through other people, both in terms of the physical influence you have and also energetically. So exactly fighting the good fight here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I wanted to take the last couple of minutes of the show to talk about uh, dealing with summer health issues, you know, I live in the Rockies. We're at very high altitude. It's very dry. We're very close to the sun. It gets hot. I think it was like 98 degrees yesterday. Um, and you're, of course, in Martha's Vineyard where it's very humid. And um, how, you know, how do people deal? Is there a specific advice for living in certain climates of how to make the best out of your summer and stay healthy? 
the, the most important thing is that what I was saying earlier is that first, for foremost and first, and I can give you some juices to help with different climates, but first and foremost, you must give your body all 43 nutrients. That's the first thing, because mm-hmm. then you can deal with anything, because you have to remember, most people who fall ill or who have altitude sickness or who have, uh, mm-hmm. who become dehydrated, you know, I can name all of them, but you got to remember, most you have to ask yourself why some people get it and some don't. Most people who fall ill to these things are already chronically and borderline malnourished already. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So if you, if you already have a, a potassium deficiency, but it's not at the point where it's um, serious, but it's just a minor potassium deficiency or a minor magnesium deficiency, then you're going to be the one that's going to have these cr- chronic problems like altitude sickness or, or, or dehydration. Like I would say, um, for children and for elderly, you always got to remember they need more fluids. They need cucumbers in their juice. They need um, celery mm-hmm. in their juice. They also need beets in their juice, um, lamb's quarter in their juice, watercress. And of course, the most important thing is that I tell people put in I know you don't like the radish some people always tell me when they come I to love the them I a lot of people don't them. like I love radish but hey. radish is really good for your mucous membrane you know and so I think that if you add those juices uh, for a climate that's very dry Okay, um, and I know uh, altitude is sometimes get people uh, ill, but I think some of the juices that's really good for that is wheatgrass. Wheatgrass is one of those great juices, but like I said, just do an ounce of it. Um, sunflower greens, turnip greens, um, and mostly uh, Swiss chard greens. And uh, this one's a, a radishes in scallions, believe it or not, are mm. really good for the lymph because see, lymph and circulation. Um, you need to have that, and that's why so many people have that altitude problem. Yes. Um, and then, of course, um, I'm on an island most of the time, and I, yep. I, I'm always telling people that I, I fly a lot, so be, I never know what climate I'm going to end up being in. So for me, is to maintain stability, and to maintain stability, I have to make sure I get all my nutrients. Sleep is the most important thing. I don't care what juice mm. you drink. If you don't yep. get sleep, you're going to decrease your immune system, mm-hmm. and that's the problem that people don't like to hear is that, if I was to give you a choice between taking these three juices and sleeping eight hours, I would say sleep eight hours and forget the juices because you won't even be able to utilize the juices if you don't get any sleep. That's what people mm. don't – they don't understand that. In order for your body to utilize nutrients, it must have energy. You don't mm-hmm. have energy if you don't sleep. So insomnia – um, is, is celery is good for insomnia. Lettuce is good for insomnia. Watercress is good, and alfalfa sprouts are good. Bam. Yeah. Do you use any herbal? Do you recommend any herbal? I know I use this kind of sleepy night tonic that has passion flower in it. Yes. Oh, that oh, helps our, me. Our whole industry uh, on Martha's Vineyard is herbal. And I, I, I was telling somebody the other day the simplest tea to make that enhances your entire digestive system. And I want to talk to all those people who have issues with their digestive tract, who have leaky gut, have irritability, Mm -hmm. IBS, uh, anything like gas, um, they can't digest, high-fat foods, all of it. Do dandelion. Dandelion is Mm. really, really good for you. I know it's bitter, but it's the best thing for your digestive tract. I bitter, love dandelion too. Green. See you. I think you like leaf. You like bitter. I, I do. I like bitter. It's a good flavor. It tastes good to me. I don't yeah. Know. I like sweet too, though. You know, I'm very yeah. balanced. Do you like cilantro? I mean, cilantro. cilantro. Yeah. See, cilantro, you like that. Parsley, and all turnips. That. Those it. are all. Those are all Absolutely. really uh, bitter foods that help you. Our arugula is really good. Oh my gosh, that arugula helps. Is my favorite arugula with lemon, a little pepper. Yeah. Mm. And that's also good for your liver. It helps to stimulate the bile flow within the liver. And so in a lot of people who have um, issues with digestive problems think it's just all colon. But sometimes it's your liver that's having a difficult time. And you want to stick with garlic, uh, garlic and onions, which is a a really Mm -hmm. important sulfur base that's Mm -hmm. good for your colon and your liver. I love I love garlic. I I put garlic in everything. And I drank, you know, I was feeling a little sick last night and I made myself a tea, lemon, 
ginger, honey, and then I put turmeric. I grated up some turmeric, and I just put, like, five raw garlic cloves that I minced wow. in there. And I just drank it raw. And, like, I smelled. I mean, like, this is raw. <laughs> like, you will smell, but I woke up today feeling fine. <gasps> It was amazing. So that's I'm wonderful. A big fan of that. Yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> so I'm healthy. No one, no one wants to make out with me, but at least I'm healthy. Um, and anyway, Dr. Ronnie, on that note, um, we gotta, we gotta wrap up the show. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. So I had so much fun. So my break's over. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I would love to, you know, as the fall, you know, in the fall, do a show about Lyme disease, okay. uh, Lyme detox and natural Lyme treatment. It's such a huge and important topic. And um, yeah. I know there's a lot of people affected by it and it's affected my life as well. Um, so, yeah, thank you again, Dr. Ronnie. And also thank you to all of our listeners for tuning in every week to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly. I have the best time. Can you tell I love doing this <laughs> um it is like a little break from work it's so nice so um anyway you can join me every wednesday at 5 p.m eastern 4 p.m central 3 p.m mountain and 2 p.m pacific and you can find out all the things about the show at thelucidplanet.com and you can also find me facebook twitter instagram the lucid planet with dr kelly as well as soundcloud and itunes etc um next week total change of pace but i love it because they say variety is the spice of life i will be interviewing author graham phillips um about the lost tomb of king arthur and i'm one of these people who's super into history and medieval times and really the emerging knowledge about our collective past and how it's changing and so this show is going to have some really interesting insights into kind of like what humanity used to be like and what we can learn about that moving into the future so stay tuned you don't want to miss that light and love and have a great rest of your day bye now You've been listening to the hit show, Lucid Planet Radio, with renowned psychologist and author, Dr. Kelly Neff. Tune in each week as we illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. This hit show will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake up to the greatest version of yourself. Learn how to navigate the global shift of consciousness as you explore the deeper knowledge, passion, and purpose within. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for upcoming show topics and to contact Dr. Kelly.